Okay, take two on this video. I've already filled the slides and it didn't actually record, so we're at it again. <laughs> okay, but we're gonna get this done. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a 25 facts about me video. I attempted to make it a 50 facts, but what is it like the second you start trying to think of facts about yourself, you don't remember anything about you. It's like when people ask you what your favorite movie is and you're just like, uh, I don't know, or whatever. Yeah, I, I was like, I don't know myself, but I got 25, so that's what we're going with. That is what we're going to do. So, number one. If you don't already know this, um, follow me on Twitter or you've been here long enough. You may already know this fact about me, but I am bisexual. I have basically been out of the closet uh, for over 10 years now. I believe I kind of started labeling my sexuality around 15 or 16. Came out to my mom uh, when I was like 18. My dad kind of didn't really have to come out to him. He seemed to kind of already know. He would always like leave little like hints. <laughs> like, I don't know. So it was pretty easy. My parents are really cool. They're awesome. I mean, growing up, one of my dad's like best friends that we knew um, is a lesbian. So coming out to my parents. I mean, it's always scary, no matter what, because you never know how they're going to react to you. But, I mean, it was very easy. My parents are awesome. So, number two um, is that I haven't been in a relationship with a guy for over... Huh? Spam call. That's always in the middle of my video. Okay. Number two is that I've been in a relationship with a guy for over a year. Again, another fact you may or may not have known, because I'm pretty public about it. But yeah, his name is Matthew. We live together, so, yep. Number three is that I am vegan. I have been vegetarian for over ten years. I just recently made the transition to full on vegan a couple months ago, so yeah. No animal byproduct going in this body. Number four is that I am a whopping five foot two. Yes, I am short. I don't know what that is in centimeters, but I'm five foot two. Real short girl. Last time I measured myself was five foot two. So number five is that I have one older sibling. Just the one sibling. It's one older sister. <laughs> Number six is I didn't get into horror until about 2011. I would have been 21 at that time. I and the way that I got into it is because Scream 4 came out and I really wanted to see it because of some of the cast members. I was really big into Adam Brody for a long time. He was in the OC. Uh, he's one of the cops that uh outside the house and gets killed um <laughs> if you didn't know who he was so yeah i was super into him for a really long time and so i really wanted to see it and but because it's the fourth i wanted to watch the other ones so i watched all of them and got super into it and yeah been hooked on horror ever since the reason it took me a really long time and I've kind of talked about this before is the fact that I did try watching horror films when I was younger and got way too scared from them and was just like nope but yeah that kind of transitioned me into horror and I've slowly been able to watch like scarier stuff other than Scream and now I love horror 
So, seven is that my favorite horror film is Scream. If you didn't already realize that, uh, usually I am in front of a giant wall of Scream stuff that is over there. You can see some of my ghost faces from here. I'm pretty obsessed. So, yeah, Scream's my favorite. Number eight is that I have eight piercings. Hey, <laughs> I didn't even do that on purpose. I promise. So, yes, I have eight piercings. I I've done the piercing tag before. I will leave a link to that below. It's a little outdated. I've gotten my lip pierced since then. Uh, just put in a ring last night. So, yeah. Eight piercings. You can check out that video. Number nine is that I have seven tattoos. Um, also did the tattoo tag. That one also is a little outdated because I've gotten one tattoo since then. Which is this beautiful baby right here. But I did create a new tattoo tag video, uh, which I did for that tattoo, so I will leave a link to that in the description as well. Um, any vid past videos that I've done on topics on here, I will leave down there. If you are a tattoo collector, if you get a new tattoo, even if you get your first tattoo, whatever, you should check out that video and do the tag. Let me know if you do it. That would be totally awesome. And you give me a little shout out do it. Yeah, because I would love to see more people doing that one because um, it's different than some of the other ones that are out there. So, Number 10 is that I have three cats and a hedgehog. So two of the cats were doing mine. Uh, Kellen, who you can kind of see part of her over, over there. Um, and her cat tree, Callie, who is down by my feet while I'm filming this. Uh, Kellen is a tabby that I've had for about five years. Got her as an itty bitty kid, literally, like, could fit my mouth. Um, could fit my hands. Um, Callie I've had for probably maybe three years, two or three years. I got her as a rescue. She was about a year old when I got her from the Humane Society. My little, my little snuggle bug. She's a little bit more cuddly than the other one. Um, and then Matt has his uh, long-haired tabby named Fluffy. Uh, her and Gail look so much alike, except for she's got longer hair. They're adorable. Um, and then I have my head. And then I went out of focus. And then I have my hedgehog, who I have done the furry pet tag for both of my cats. I haven't done it for my hedgehog. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll film that today. Um, that could be fun. You guys could see my little hedgehog, so. Number 11 is that I have lived in four different places in my life. So I was born in Wapakoneta, Ohio, the place where Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon, was born. So a little claim to fame for our small town with that. We got a museum about it. If you're ever in the area, I highly suggest it. Really cool. Believe it's still there. Hopefully. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Uh, and then when I was eight, we moved to Idaho Falls, Idaho. Lived there until I was about 13. Moved to Jeff City, Missouri. Lived there till I was 16. Then moved back to Idaho. Lived there when I was 21. If, yeah, I believe I was 21. I moved to Tennessee briefly. Um, moved in with my grandparents because my grandma was sick. So, lived there for a few months, and then moved back to Idaho. My parents were moving, so helped them pack up, and I moved here to Columbia, because this is where my sister is. Um, so, yeah. Now I live in Como. So, those are the four places I have lived. Number 12 is that I am obsessed with Spider-Man. If you've been here long enough, you may have already known that fact because I used to film in front of a giant Spider-Man wall, which is actually now in front of me. Um, I posted pictures of it before, so maybe I'll post a picture somewhere in here so you can see it. But yes, I love me some Spider-Man. Favorite superhero, favorite Marvel character. He's the greatest. So, number 13 is that I love pop music, and specifically, I love One Direction. Don't give a hoot nanny what anybody says, I've gotten crap for this. It's 
for forever because I love them. So you can say whatever you want. I don't care. I love One Direction and I love pop music. And I may not always look like it. I don't feel like most people automatically assume that I love pop music. But I do. So number 14 though is that my favorite bands, however, are Taking Back Sunday and I See Stars. Both of which are not pop music. Um, Taking Back Sunday, if you don't know who they are, they're like an alternative band from Jersey. I feel like it's the best way to describe them. They just kind of have their own sound. I've been listening to them for, let's see, they had their 10 year reunion like a year or so ago. So it'd be over 10 years probably by now. Um, they're my absolute favorite band of all time. Love Taking Back Sunday. I see stars come in a very close second. I have also been listening to them for a very long time. I saw them in concert, I believe I was 19. They were on the Leave It to the Suits tour. Um, it was like We Came as Romans, Broadway, very underrated band. Um, of Mice and Men, I believe, was also on that tour. I feel like there's another band, but I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I... My friend from high school dragged me to the show. We used to go to shows together all the time. I had no clue who any of these bands were that were playing. But them and uh, We Came As Romans just blew it out of the water. They were so fantastic live. And, like, I mean, the guys from IC Stars are fairly young, I believe. They're all, like, a year or two younger than me. And I was just like, wow, these young dudes are really fucking <laughs> amazing. And I loved their sound. They're like a screamo techno type band is the best way to describe it. Um, so if you're into that kind of music, I highly suggest both bands. They're amazing. So, yeah. Number 15 is that I have been dyeing my hair since I was 16. Um, when I was probably like 14 or 15, my mom let me put black streaks in my hair. Why she let me do that, I don't know. I had, like, natural hair and then just black streak. <laughs> Probably looked a little like a skunk, I'm sure. But um, then when I was 16, she let me full-on diet for the first time. And I basically was dying it black ever since. And obviously I've had multiple other colors. But the yeah, first time I dyed my hair fully black was when I was 16. Um, number 16, that should have been number 16, but number 16 is that my favorite show is Boy Meets World. It is currently up on Hulu. If you have Hulu, I've heard the people in certain other countries can't get Hulu, which sucks. I would think they would have their own, like, branch for other countries. But if you do have Hulu and you love Boy Meets World, it's up on there. I've been marathoning through it. I don't have all of the seasons on DVD. I think I only have the first three. Um, so, they're kind of expensive. It's crazy. The show's so old and they're expensive to get on DVD. So, I've been marathoning it on Hulu. And I love it so much. Which, if you follow me on Twitter, you will see that because I've been tweeting about it a lot. Uh, watch the Halloween episode last night. Um, Number 17 is that my favorite animals are penguins. I love me some penguins. I, I don't know why they're just so cute and little bodily. Uh, it's funny people always assume because I have cats that those are my favorite animals. I have no clue why people automatically assume that people who have cats favorite animals are cats. For some people it is true. I love my cats. It's one of my favorite animals, but I also love all animals. That's why I'm vegan. But penguins, I'm a number one. So cute. Little water libatis. Love those things. Oh, uh, I also, I guess, a side fact for that, I also have a ton of penguin stuffed animals. Number 18 is that I love makeup. I love doing my makeup. I love looking at makeup. I follow a few different makeup artists on Twitter. Uh, more so on Instagram just because I kind of try to keep Twitter just YouTube related. Um, so, because I was retweeting a lot of makeup artists and I was like, 
the people who are coming to follow me may not be following me for that. They want to see the horror. So I keep most of that stuff to like Instagram and Tumblr. But yeah, I think it's a beautiful form of art and expression. There are some freaking makeup artists who are goddamn amazing. And yeah, um, so makeup I think is great. Number 19 is that my favorite actor is Sebastian Stan. If you don't know who he is, he plays Bucky Barnes slash the Winter Soldier in the Captain America films. Um, he's also been in a lot of other great stuff, but I feel like that's what most people will know him from. Uh, luckily, his career has been blowing up a little bit more. He's definitely doing more outside of Marvel. Not that I don't mind Marvel, but uh, yeah. He's my favorite actor. I, I have a lot. I have a lot of actors that I love. But he's probably my number one. So number 20 is that I have only ever been out of the country once. Um, I went to Canada with my parents when I was very young. Don't remember any of it aside from pictures or what I've been told. Um, I believe we went to Niagara Falls. That's in Canada, right? Something like that. Anyway, so we went when I was very young. Don't remember it. The only time I've been out of the country. Maybe eventually I'll go. Matt's Canadian. Maybe partially Canadian. Maybe someday we'll take a trip. But yeah, so only ever out of the country once. Number 21 is that I work at a call center and I have worked at that call center for about five years. Um, I am going to make a little note here. If you have to call customer service, please be nice. Like, I'm the type of person that can get easily worked up and angry about something. And I may be angry before I call or go back into a store or whatever. But the second I'm talking to somebody, I get my customer service voice back on. And I am, like, nice. And to, and to a point. Until you push me. But, like... The person that you were calling to talk to is not likely the person that fucked up whatever is fucked up. It's probably someone at a warehouse somewhere. Or you did it yourself. <laughs> That's my biggest pet peeve is people who don't take responsibility for their own mess ups and then want me to fix it. So please, like, don't, don't be getting angry for no reason. There's no point. Just chill. They're just trying to do their job. And if they tell you they can't do something, the likelihood is that they physically cannot or they do not have a policy. There is no way for them to do a thing. The amount of times I have tried to explain to somebody that we literally cannot do the thing you're asking. It's not that I don't want to because I likely will. If I can do a thing to get you off the phone, I'm probably going to do it. But just like sometimes people have a ridiculous phone. I can't give you the world. Wow. So just be nice. Okay. Number 22 is that I used to oil paint. Um, I was actually pretty good at it. I don't have any of my oil paintings here. All the ones I did I gave to family. Um, I believe I do have one oil paint that I did a couple of years ago. That's pretty okay. It's the first one I had done in a long time and it's a screen one. Obviously. Um, I haven't hung it up I mean, maybe I'll do that today. Who knows? But, yeah, um, I used to do oil pan. I was pretty good at it. Um, but we moved in the middle of me. I was taking classes, um, learning how to do it, and we kind of moved in the middle of me doing it, and I just didn't really stick to it, which is sad. But, you know, who knows? Maybe someday. Number 23 is that I have played or instruments. I went through a phase of really trying to want to learn to play an instrument. The first one is I played the violin. I was in elementary school. I had a best friend who played. She was amazing and fantastic at it. I was mediocre. <laughs> not not great at, at the violin, uh, but I tried. Number, um, the second instrument that I tried was the flute. No good at that one. Not a flute player. Not not my calling, that one. <laughs> but I tried. Uh, third instrument was the drums. I was okay at it, but I uh, didn't really get super into the drums. Again, I tried. 
Uh, and then the last instrument that I played was the bass, and I actually was quite good at the bass. I was in a all girl band with uh, some of the people from the school where it's taking lessons, and uh, I had a couple of different friends that had bands. Um, when I was in high school, I did join a band for a while and played bass. We were a screamo band. Shout out to those boys if any of you are watching. Uh, yeah, a um, couple of my best friends put together a band. I played bass in it for like a while, but we ended up like just fucking around a lot because none of us were taking it like super seriously. I think a lot of them went on to actually be in bands, which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, it ended up just being a lot of us just like hanging out a ton. Uh, drummer was dating one of my best friends. Guitarist was one of my best friends from high school, which is how I got into the band. So it was just too much of just us all hanging out. Um, so <laughs> yeah, but I did play bass and was actually very good at it. Um, but again, I was taking classes and we moved and I tried to take classes again. Um, but I just didn't like the teacher, he wasn't teaching me, like, the way that I wanted. He was probably teaching me the proper way, just not the way that I wanted to learn. And so I just kind of, like, gave up on that, which is a bummer. I still have my base, it's a pretty blue base. Uh, that actually is at my sister's because her husband uh, collects some instruments. He does play. Um, and he has a guitar that is actually a pretty blue one as well, so they match. I've kind of just let him keep it there. Maybe someday I'll pick it back up. I've kind of done it off and on, but, you know. So, I played the bass and I was actually pretty good at it. Number 24 is my fave colors are hot pink and lime green. Probably wouldn't be able to tell that by looking uh, around a lot of... What you see and what I wear is obviously black, white, and red, um, and I do love those, but hot pink and lime green are my favorite colors, and they're great colors, especially because they go with black very well. Um, back to dyeing my hair when I was in high school, I did have lime green in my hair, I'll show a photo, and then had a like purple that faded to hot pink, which I'll show a photo over here. Uh, and you can see that I was emo all my life. No, but yeah, super emo in uh, high school. So, I'll see those pictures. And then number 24 is that, uh, oh wait, that was number 24, sorry. Number 25, and the last fact is that I have actually, sorry, if you can hear that noise, that is pepper. The hedgehog, she is up getting something to drink, so I'm just gonna talk over her loudness. Number 25 is that I've been on YouTube for well, it's probably like four, it's probably like two years now. I wrote one, but I know it's definitely been more than that now that I was thinking about it. Um, posted my fo first video probably maybe a year ago, maybe two years ago ish. Um, but only within the past year or so, I really started taking it more seriously, um, really started trying to focus on the channel and build it, finally decided maybe a year ago what I really wanted the channel to be, which was horror, I kind of switched back and forth when I first started, I tried to do just one of those, like, sit down, like, chatty vloggers doing skits, but I'm not that funny, uh, <laughs> Well, I think I'm funny, but, um, <laughs> yeah, it just, it wasn't really working out that, um, way, and so then I tried kind of doing some makeup stuff, but it wasn't really very good, I'm definitely getting better now, uh, but, yeah, it wasn't, I don't think I'm in any position to, you know, giving makeup tips and talking about makeup on YouTube, though I will say, granted, there are some, uh, beauty bloggers who aren't as well, but that's my personal opinion on that. Um, so yeah, I turned it into just being like a horror channel, because that's what I love, and that's what I love to talk about. So yeah, um, those are my 25 facts. 
hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And, and if you want me to do any more of these type of videos, always leave tag suggestions in the comments. I freaking love doing these. I know they're not horror related. But they're fun and they're pretty easy to do. So, yes, Callie, I know you're there. So I'm going to talk to her sister she starts one. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any type of other tag suggested videos, especially horror related ones that you want me to do, leave them in the comments below. I have done a few different horror ones and there's tag playlist that'll be linked down below so you can check that out. Um, if you guys are at all interested in me ever doing a QA, and a I would love to. I haven't really put it out there because my channel's not that large. Um, but I really, really want to do one. So feel free if you would submit comment. If you would submit questions, let me know down below. Um, you know, I'm not going to do if people are going to submit questions. So if you would, let me know. And maybe eventually, maybe if I get a few more subscribers, I'll eventually do one. But yeah, hopefully. Hopefully you enjoyed this, so again, thank you so much for watching.